breaking away, mastering the phrase in English. Hello, wonderful learners. Today we're going to dive into a very interesting English phrase that can be quite handy in various conversations. We're going to explore, break away, a phrase that has more to it than meets the eye. So, buckle up and get ready to add another expression to your ever-growing English vocabulary. When we look at the phrase, break away, we're looking at a phrasal verb. Phrasal verbs are combinations of words that, when used together, take on a new meaning that's often quite different from the original words. Break, on its own means to separate into pieces, while, away, suggests a distance from a certain point or position. When combined, they form a phrase that means to escape from a person, place, or situation, often to gain freedom or independence. Break away can be used both literally and figuratively. Here are some examples. Literal sense, the prisoner tried to break away from the guards. This means the prisoner tried to physically escape. Figurative sense, after years of following tradition, she decided to break away and forge her own path. This means she decided to stop following tradition to do something new or different. To understand how to use break away properly, let's look at some contextual examples. In sports, the athlete managed to break away from the group and sprint towards the finish line. In relationships, he found it hard to break away from a toxic friendship that was draining his energy. In careers, she decided to break away from the family business to start her own company. A common mistake learners make is confusing, break away, with simply, break. Remember, break, can be used on its own, but, break away, has a specific implication of moving away or gaining freedom from something. Also, break away, as one word can be an adjective, as in, a breakaway group, meaning a group that has separated from a larger one. And that wraps up our journey through the phrase, break away. It's a versatile term that can enrich your conversations and help you express a range of situations involving separation, independence, or escape. I hope this video helps you feel more confident using it in your daily English. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to break away from your comfort zone to improve your language skills. Until next time, happy learning!